we did it. We brought our new deity time code generators on set with us to Dark Ops. Dark Ops is our new series sponsored by Tego, chronicling the lives of behavioral analysts in the FBI's BAU2 as they hunt down ransomware crime syndicates. Actually, speaking about Dark Ops, this is a perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Night TV Plus, the new TV network Mel and I launched on January 1st. Night TV Plus is the home for storytelling and cyber genre entertainment, conferences, news, documentaries, and more. With thousands of hours of cybersecurity, cryptocurrency, blockchain, sci-fi, dystopian features, and other stories, there's something to discover for everyone. Stream the latest movies, documentaries, talk shows, and exclusive Night Studios original series and more. Stories are added weekly and we definitely urge you to take a look at our new network. Night TV Plus is the learning and entertainment center of gravity for the global cybersecurity community. Subscribe today at www.nighttvplus.com and join our global audience. Okay, so we're not here to talk about Dark Ops, we're not here to talk about Night TV Plus, but we are here to talk about our post wrap review of the Deity TC1 time code generators and the TC SL1 Smart Slate. Now, it's important I mention to you the fact that this is not a sponsored video. Deity did not give us the TC1 to review. We paid for all of these using our own money. They have no influence on my opinion of their product at all. This is simply my opinion as a director and cinematographer of this new timecode system we've recently folded into our production workflow. If you haven't yet seen my last video on configuring the TC1 and TC SL1 with the V-Raptor, Komodo, and Mix Pre 10, I'll link to the video up here and in the comments. So really quickly, what exactly is timecode and jamming? Timecode generators produce a signal, usually an audio track that marks out certain events in recorded footage. These signals can be a regular pulse like a metronome for syncing video and audio together when they're being recorded by separate devices. When jam syncing, a TC reader or generator receives an external incoming timecode. It then jams or creates new timecode based on that signal identical to the original that's baked into the file being generated. Recently, Deity Microphones released their TC1, a timecode generator capable of jamming a camera or sound recorder driven by their easy to use mobile app Citus Audio. Now, if you recognize Citus from the app your Aperture Lights use, it's because Deity actually used to be part of Aperture and they spun off four years ago to create their own independent company. Honestly, they've been crushing it ever since. They've been doing a great job at taking market share away from some of the other incumbents in the production studio sound marketplace. The TC1 is a wireless timecode box with a locking 3.5 millimeter timecode port and uses Bluetooth 5 to receive signal from a nearby mobile device running Citus Audio. Okay, so on to my review. To be completely candid with you, I can't imagine having not used timecode on our sets previously. It kind of pisses me off that none of the previous sound mixers we've hired introduced timecode to our workflow, but that's for another day. We've purchased three TC1s and connected them to our A cam, which was running a red V Raptor system, B cam running the red Komodo, and our sound devices mix pre 10. Now on set, we really only ran into one problem and that was when the TC1 was disconnected from its V Raptor and the Komodo when we switched scenes to a different set location. When we got to the new location, I'd made the assumption that the TC SL1 smart slate, which I'll talk about in a minute, the cameras and my sound recorder were all synced, so I didn't rerun the Citus app and jam everything again. I didn't actually realize that the time on the slate that I was seeing, along with the time being reported to me from the red cameras on my director's monitor, were different times. I then yelled cut and we took a few moments out to jam everything. My advice to all of you is use the Velcro that came with the TC1 and make sure it's properly mounted to your cameras and your sound recorder and warn your DPs or camera ops not to disconnect them. A good rule of thumb is to always look before yelling action at the time code on your monitor with what the slate says because all should read the same time. Overall, I think it's pretty much the best investment we ever made for $199 per device. So why time code? Because your editor and your post-production team will love you for it. Without timecode generators, your editor will have to manually match up the sound files generated by your recorder with the video. And when introducing more than one camera in a scene, this can become quite a challenge really quickly. Today, I'm going to show you just how easily and quickly you can timecode sync video and sound in post-production using DaVinci Resolve 18. 
So what used to take me hours just takes me a few seconds and honestly, I can't imagine ever going back to a workflow that doesn't include time code generators. So my verdict on the Deity TC1, it's definitely a must have tool on any film set. The easy to use interface on the device itself, the user friendly mobile app, everything just works. And when you're on set, you know just as well as I do that every second counts. For example, on the set of Dark Ops, we were filming in a private jet which cost us over $3,000 per hour. And when you're dealing with that much money per hour, you really don't want to overcomplicate things with devices with dozens of buttons that are really unnecessary and just create delays. So in hashtag set life, you really can't survive over engineering things that should be simple. The Deity TC1 and TCSL1 Smart Slate do just that. Okay. So that was the good news. What about the bad? Honestly, not much. Besides the human error that I made in jamming everything again after they had been disconnected from their devices, I really haven't run into any problems with the TC1. For the TC SL1 Smart Slate, we did appreciate the dual battery system and the backlight as many of our TV series are produced on relatively dark sets. So the backlight on the Smart Slate helps a lot. I will warn you that the TC SL1 does burn through the batteries pretty quickly. One quick thing that we end up having to do on set was connected to an external battery at one point just due to the fact that we had burned through both the batteries. Luckily there's a USB-C port on the slate allowing you to connect it to an external power source if this happens. As far as the mobile app is concerned, as you saw in my setup video, it's relatively painless to add each TC1 and the TC SL1 to the app for remote jamming, so no complaints there. All in all, it was a very pleasurable experience and these will be used on every set moving forward. Okay, are you ready to see how painless it is to sync your videos and sound and post in DaVinci Resolve? Well, let's get at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to give you a quick tour of my editing station here. So over here on the right hand side is my Blackmagic mini panel. Uh, what this does is it allows me to more accurately color grade as part of my post-production workflow. It's really changed my entire workflow. I've been excited ever since getting it for Christmas and I want to give a shout out to my wife for uh, giving this to me as a gift. So I'm going to be demonstrating this as well uh, in a future video, but I, I really do recommend anyone uh, to pick this up that's serious about color grading. Uh, it is used by professional color graders in Hollywood and really will radically change your, your color grading uh, workflow. On the left hand side over here is my DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. This really again has also changed my post-production workflow in a good way. It really allowed me to edit clips a lot more quickly. There is definitely a learning curve in moving from your keyboard to the speed editor, but once you get it down it'll start saving you a lot of time. Okay, now that we've got all of our clips loaded into the media pool, I'm just going to right click on that and say create new multicam clip using selected clips. You can go ahead and give that multicam clip a name. I'm going to accept the 23.976, which is frame rate, which is what we shot in. Angle sync, you want to make sure is set to time code. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. All right, now that we have our multicam clip, I'm just going to double click it. And you can see all the different angles within that multicam clip. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say open in timeline. So that's how easy it is. Uh, if you go down here, let's go ahead and switch to a single view. If you see gaps like this, don't freak out. What it is is the videos are just further up. It's creating a new video row, a new video channel for every angle. So you can add an angle uh, and the sound is lined up with that particular video file uh, right below it. 
Well, that does it for this episode of Nightlight. Thank you so much for joining us today. If any of you are using the Deity TC1 in your workflow, let me know in the comments of this video what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I'm definitely eager to find out. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon for new uploads. I upload a new episode every Sunday. Until the next episode, take care of yourselves and each other.